Number 42. Calculate the delta H for the reaction described by the equation. Hint. Use the value for the approximate amount of heat absorbed by the reaction that you calculated in a previous exercise. And then we have the equation that they gave us. Now, we did this problem. This is number 27 in the chapter. So if you're on the playlist, all you got to do is just go back to number 27. I believe it's this one. And what I did was I went back there and I just wrote down again the information that's needed to answer this problem. So if you guys need a refresher and you go back to number 27, you'll see that for that specific reaction, it produced 1.4 kilojoules of heat, right? Q is heat. And there was 3.15 grams of this barium hydroxide octahydrate. Now, they want to know what the delta H is. So let's just quickly go through what that is. Now, delta H, when I was, you know, learning this material, I made the correlation between the H and the H in enthalpy. So the H, delta H, is always called the enthalpy of the reaction. And if we just keep going with the H, you know, information, enthalpy or delta H is basically the amount of heat that is produced or absorbed per one mole of a compound, either under combustion or in a reaction. But that's the whole idea. Delta H has a very specific unit, all right? Delta H's standard unit is always kilojoules divided by moles. So that's basically what we have to find out here. They want us to calculate the delta H. So we need a kilojoule value, and we need a mole value, and then we just divide the two. Now, it's beautiful because in the previous example, we found out that there was 1.4 kilojoules of heat that was going to be absorbed. I know that was absorbed because it's a positive number. So I know that we have 1.4 kilojoules. Now all we got to do is find out the moles. Well, that's why we knew that there was 3.15 grams of the barium hydroxide that was being uh, uh, used. Now, in this case, if we go back to number 27, um, there, was a, there was two different numbers, right? There was the barium hydroxide and this amount. But if we're trying to find a delta H value, it's always per one mole of the equation. In this equation, the barium hydroxide, there was only one of them. So that's why I took the 3.15 grams. So now I just got to convert from grams to moles. We know how to do that, right? Long time we've been doing this. 3.15 grams of barium hydroxide. This is just going to be a conversion. And that's 8 H2O, make sure that you keep the 8H2O, right? Times by the ratio, throw the grams of the barium hydroxide down below with the octahydrate, moles of the barium hydroxide octahydrate goes on the top. And remember, mole to gram conversion of the same compound is the periodic table. So get your periodic tables out. Remember, on the periodic table, it's always one mole. And then whatever the molar mass is, is the mass in grams. So let's, let's see what we got here. So barium is 137.3. Uh, there's two oxygens, two hydrogens. So plus 2 times 16, plus 2 times 1.008. And then when you do the water, there's 16 hydrogens and 8 oxygens. So I got a plus another 16 times 1.008, and then I got to add another 8 oxygen, so 8 times 16. So I get roughly 315.444. Grams of this barium hydroxide octahydrate gets canceled, and now let's just do the math. Oh, I mean, is that a coincidence? They gave us 3.15, and now we got to divide by 315? Probably not, but whatever. This is 0, 0.0, uh, we'll say 999, 0, 0, 0.0999, nine, and I just want to make sure that I, yeah, that's right, two zeros, good, and that's the moles of the barium hydroxide octahydrate. So now I know the moles, 
0.00999 moles. So now I have the two numbers in which I can just divide. So I got 1.4 kilojoules. Then I got 0 0.00999 moles. And just notice, guys, maybe if I just pull this over a little bit, just notice that kilojoules and moles, they're two totally different units, so you cannot cancel them out. That's why the units will stay kilojoules per mole. 1.4 divided by 0 0.00999. I get roughly 140. So we'll call it that. 140 kilojoule per mole. And there you go. So calculate the delta H. 140 kilojoules will be uh, absorbed, because it's a positive, for every one mole of the barium hydroxide octahydrate that is used in the reaction. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. If you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button and tell your friends, tell your classmates about this cool service. I think it's pretty cool. What do you guys think? We also have physics videos and math videos and some more chem videos. So go check the channel out, all right? I will see you all in future lessons. Have a great day. Bye-bye.